Hello, it's Clay, the Georgia Bottle Picker. If you're new to the channel, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I've had a, some requests about bottle education, to do more educational videos about bottles. And I've, I've done a few, not many. I've done one on how to tell the difference between a reproduction and original Christmas Coke, a 1923 bottle, and I, one on uh, Dr. Pepper bottles. I changed the title to it, to how much are Dr. Pepper bottles worth. But I, I talk about some prices in that video and I show a bunch of different variations of what you can look for. But today is Coca-Cola bottle variations and values. We're gonna take a closer look at these bottles and I'm gonna show you the different variations and the different values of these bottles right here and what you can be looking for when you're out at thrift stores and antique malls and flea markets. So let's take a closer look at them. These are the most common bottles besides this one that you'll see out in the wild. There's the Hutch, the straight side, the Hobble Skirt 1915, Hobble Skirt 1923, Hobble Skirt Patton D, Hobble Skirt 6 ounce, Hobble Skirt 6.5 ounce, Hobble Skirt ACL, and then the reproduction 1923s. This first bottle we're going to look at is a, called a Coca Cola Hutchison bottle. And these are the most valuable Hutchison, I mean, Coca Cola bottles that you're going to find. And I've never found one out in the wild. I was having a yard sale one time and a lady stopped by and told me she had one, but I offered her $1,000 for it, but she wouldn't sell it to me. But anyhow, these uh, Hutchison, Coca Cola Hutchison bottles, they've got different towns on them, and that determines the value and the condition. When you're looking at bottles, where they are from, the towns, that's why people collect bottles, or most of the time, or soda bottles are from the towns, where they're from. Either they're from there, they know somebody from there, or, I mean, that's just sometimes, or they want all the bottles from all the towns in their state. And But the Coca-Cola Hutchison bottle, that's the first bottle that they bottled Coca-Cola in, and they look just like this right here. This is a reproduction one. I've had six re uh, real Coca-Cola Hutchison bottles, and the prices vary on them. I mean, it's according to the condition of them, but if a friend of mine had one in this, it looked like this one right here, Property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company. It didn't have a town on it, and he got $8,500 for his. See, this is a reproduction there. You can look at the bottom and tell so that's a reproduction. But the Coca-Cola Hutchison bottles, I don't think you'll find one in the wild. You might you might get lucky and find one. You can't never tell. But the Coca-Cola Hutchison bottles, they, they range from, I'll say, according to the condition, $1,000 up to $8,500. And I've sold them cheaper than that to the according to the condition of them. The second bottle we're looking at, this is the next bottle they made, was a straight-side Coca-Cola bottle. And there's all different variations of this bottle. There's clear ones, there's uh, green ones, or I call this green, aqua color, and different shades of that. There's amber ones, and where the script writing is on the shoulder, that's a shoulder script, and then you have some that's mid script, then you have some that's heel script, when it's wrote down here on the heels, heel script, the mid script or center script. This is a shoulder script, and the value of these uh, straight side Coca-Cola bottles, it can, it all, uh, depends on where it's from and the uh, condition of it. These, this was in real, real good, good condition. Don't have any scratches. Don't have any chips. But they'll raise. If you get one in this condition, don't matter where it's from. It's worth twenty five dollars, and then the price goes up from there. I have sold them up to uh, fifteen hundred dollars a piece for Coca Cola straight sides. And that is the straight sides. They made these. They started making these. I don't know. The, I'm not an expert on the years and all when they started making them. They made them and started these in the 1800s. And they started this one, I think, the early 1900s to 1915. And that's where you come into these hobble skirts. These are out here called hobble skirts. Some people call them May West bottles because of the shapes of them, like May West was. But there's different variations of this hobble skirt some people call them i call these are dated bottles when they got dates on i'm going to show you right here 
But this is a 1915. This is the next one they made. They evolved from the hutch to the straight side to the hobble skirt. And this is a 1915. When you're looking, these are the most common ones you're going to find in uh, antique malls and flea markets are these hobble skirts. This is what I see out there most of the time are yard sales. And when you see one, you want to look right there underneath where it's the Coca-Cola is. It'll say trademark, register. But under that, you check and see if it's got that date on it. And we call them dated bottles. This is a November the 16th, 1915. And if the condition in town, where they're from, make, determines the value of them. But well, a 1915 bottle in this kind of condition is worth at least $15. And they go up from there. I have sold them up to seven or eight hundred dollars a piece, according to the town. Small towns usually means more value. And this one's in real good condition. But that's what you want to look for is that date right there. Is the nineteen fifteen condition and where they're from. Usually, the smaller the town, the more valuable they are. I sold a Kingsland Coca Cola bottle a couple of years ago for. $700, I think, and a Darien, Georgia bottle for $700. Some of them bring good money. I sold a bunch of them for 100 and up. So you want to be on the lookout for these Coca-Cola 1915 bottles. The next one they done, they call this a Christmas Coke because the patent date is December the 25th, 1923. It's the same place as the 1915. When you see this coca-cola bottle just always want to check and see if they got them dates on them because if they got that date and it's according to where they're from determines the value of them but they're more valuable than the ones that don't have the date on them but they did when you find these christmas cokes they did reproduce them and i'll show you a reproduction one right here this is the reproduction uh 1923 you want to make sure when you're looking they're not it's not one of these because they're not as valuable they redone these in 1989 and twice in the 90s, I think. But the way you can tell the difference, I made a video on it, is the, the new ones have small writing. The towns on the bottom are small, and the old ones, the writing on the bottom is big. That's the way, the easiest way to tell. You just, when you see a 1923, a Christmas coat, you just look at the bottom. If it's a big writing, you got an old one. And then these right here are the ones that's not as valuable you got the patent d these patent d's i'm not sure when they made them they stopped started making them but they're they're the next to the oldest from the christmas cokes and i've sold these anywhere from uh five or six dollars on up to 15 or 20 dollars it's just a t according to the town and the condition on these bottles but they're not real valuable the average price on most of them are maybe six to ten dollars I have sold a patent D for $200. It's in one of my videos. Uh, it's the most I ever got for a patent D. They are some rare ones. The rare ones uh, in good condition will bring good money, but the patent Ds, average price, $5 to $10. And then you have the six ounce, and it's just according to the uh, rarity of it. These are uh, about the same price, probably. $5 to... Uh, 10 or $15 according to the town and how bad somebody wants it. I mean, if somebody uh, has got some kind of, they just want a bottle from that town for because they're from that town or somebody in their family was from that town, they might pay $20 for it. But the average price about $10, eight, five to $10. And then you got the six and a half ounce. It'll have six and a half ounce right there. And these are about the same price between five and $15. I mean, most of the time they're six, seven dollars. The patent D, the six ounce, six and a half ounce, most of the time between five and ten dollars. You do have an occasion where they'll bring 20. And then these ACL, this is called an ACL when it's got the uh, painted label on it. And they do have, some of them do have towns on them. And I've never sold many of these for very much money. They're the least desirable out of these. And, and these uh, reproduction Christmas Cokes. But I have one time, I, I, when I first started selling bottles, I bought a collection that had some of these in it. And I listed some of them. And I sold some of them for 5 and 6 $7 a piece. But I, there was one I couldn't find any sold comps on. So I auctioned it. It brought $100-something. 
I guess there was two people that needed in their collection, and it was from uh, the middle of the country. I'm not from, from uh, I don't remember where it was from. But that's the Coca-Cola bottles. I hope it helps you some. That's the Coca-Cola bottles, variations and values. You just have to look them up to see really how much each bottle's worth. And the condition's going to matter too, to the value condition and where it's from. Well, that's the video on Coca-Cola bottle variations and values. There's a lot of different variations and values of them. I hope it helps you out when you're out looking for bottles. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Share the videos. That's the best thing you can do to help me out. And happy hunting, and I hope you find some rare bottles.